Well, I find myself in another fine mess. I'm in uh, North Portland, I guess, at Swan Island here, and I'm trying to find a beach for uh, a new WTF PDX episode that I want to do about the Swan Island Airport that used to be here. And uh, I couldn't find any existing buildings. There's none of the runways or anything like that left over. The only thing I could find was a little blip on Google Maps that said Lindbergh's Beach, which uh, I'm assuming, uh, it's not an official city park, so I'm assuming that this is in reference to the uh, Charles Lindbergh landing and dedication in uh, 19... 27, I think he flew in his little uh, Spirito St. Louis and dedicated the airport. It had already been in use for about a year before that, but old Lindbergh came in and put his stamp, his seal of approval on it. So we're going to go see if we can find Lindbergh's Beach. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I think, there's no parking down here. I have the dog with me. Macy and I drove around for about 10 minutes looking for somewhere to park and uh, there's probably some public parking on the other side over in Mox Bottom. I know I've parked over there before, but there's none here. Uh, there's no reason to come down here. There's a 7-Eleven. I think there's a McDonald's, but uh, there's no bars. There's no other restaurants. There's no entertainment or recreation, uh, except for Lindbergh's Park here, which is down that trail. And, uh, some indication of what we might find when we get down there. Shooting right into the sun. Portland doesn't have a whole lot of uh, beaches per se. There's a lot of, you know, riverbank area, but most of it's not very nice. It's not accessible. It's not kept up or, you know, established in the first place even. We got a new beach a couple of years ago. It was a big deal on the Willamette River. It's called Poets Beach. It's directly under the I-5 bridge, the Markham Bridge. So, you know, 100% for effort, A for effort, but beach under a bridge, you know, I guess for all those super sunny days here, people can hide out. We're coming up on this uh, thing here, this steel annulus, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, it looks like, as we come up on it, part of a tunnel section almost which is strange I thought this was going to be something to do with Lindbergh okay so I'm going to quiet down a little bit here because I do see some signs of uh, human encampment this is a uh, potentially a really nice area. Sorry I'm talking so quiet, there's people living here, so I don't want to be too loud or attract too much attention to myself. But, uh, you know, the view is beautiful here. I understand why people would want to live out here. Uh, even during the week, it, it might be loud, but there's no one out here. No one lives on Swan Island. The closest people are up on Mox Crest uh, and Overlook. And there's probably some, you know, business folk that come through, walk on their lunch breaks down here. But I can't imagine there are a whole lot of people, uh, you know, just general traffic coming through this area. I mean, you can't even park in front of the park, so who's going to spend much time here? As far as Lindbergh's beach goes, unless I'm missing something, and I probably am because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time investigating this, uh, there's nothing here. There's a path along the river that's really nice, but uh, there's no other reason to come here, unfortunately. Macy. I'm just pulling Macy around. She has no idea what's going on because I'm going back and forth and talking to myself. <laughs> the Daimler building is directly in front of me. It's a big building. A lot of people work there and it looks like this path goes right to their um, area. Here, Macy, come on. Let's go this way. It goes right to their campus. 
Uh, so I could totally see if you were a Daimler worker uh, coming over here on your lunch break and just walking up and down this area. Might be kind of cool. I'm on this walking path now leading down to Lindbergh's Beach and uh, the nice view of the Adidas campus. This place really gives me the creeps. There's something really strange about a bunch of, uh, yeah, box trucks or tractor, tractor trailer trailers just parked up there. Like it really makes you think that uh, like a murderer, like a serial killer would bring his victims down here and kill them in between those box trucks. I saw an ad for Dexter this morning, so of course, murder's on the mind. <laughs> well, I was walking back to the car and uh, something stood out to me and I, I wonder if, if I realized what that thing was, that piece of art uh, pipe thing that we passed. And there's a sign right here that says uh, construction for, sewer construction for clean rivers. And now I'm wondering if uh, that was part of perhaps that system, like a, you know, just a, a ring out of one of the tunnels that they built for, for this. I know they've been putting in some pretty big uh, uh, rainwater drainage systems in Portland for the last, I don't know how many, 15 years, 20 years. So perhaps this is part of that, that project, I don't know. The street that I'm on now is called Lagoon, and we're actually on Swan Island and not uh, the other part, which is Mox Bottom. This road runs, you know, parallel to the length of Swan Island, and so this is the same sort of um, area that the pilots would have had to land and, and, and take off on. And to me, looking at Swan Island alone uh, on a map, it makes it look big and you think oh yeah you could put an airport there but if you look at Swan Island and uh, PDX at the same time on a map you'll see that Swan Island is, is minuscule and I don't think that any of PDX's runways would fit on Swan, Swan Island at all. Um, maybe the little uh, light aircraft runway which if this was still an active airport um, those would probably be the only aircraft that would be allowed to use this area because I don't even think you could get a 737 um, in the air in this short of a, a runway. But maybe, probably not. That's the whole reason that this airport was abandoned in the first place is because uh, there was no room for runway expansion. And so the only craft that could come in here would have been small aircraft. Um, and it just it wasn't working for them at the time and it obviously wasn't valuable enough to keep around for the future so they nixed it there's another spot that I want to scout up on Overlook so we're gonna go up there next okay now I'm up in uh, North Portland off of Willamette Boulevard and we're gonna go take a look at this park that I've always heard about but never seen I don't know what it's called. I think this area is uh, Mox Crest, Overlook, University, something. I don't know. But hey, look, a monkey tree. The view really is pretty spectacular from this. Uh, I mean, it's not a park yet. It's just kind of a, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> it's going down in front of us. But the view from this, uh, sidewalk here is really pretty astounding. You get all of downtown, Mount Hood's just over there. It's pretty cool. So the whole point of coming up here is to give some sort of a, you know, bird's eye view representation of Swan Island. Because I think that when you're down there, you can't really tell that it's an island. And even from up here, all you can really see is the channel um, between Mox Bottom and Swan Island. 
and you still can't tell it's an island. It just looks like a, a channel or an inlet or something. Macy's happy to be in a new spot. So I think I found my spot and it's here uh, behind me there at that little overlook at the end of this bridge. It sort of shows what I want, but it's kind of a cool location and this will make uh, for some really good shots, maybe walking through this, uh, this bridge structure that goes over the railroad tracks. The one thing I will have to remember about this location is that the sun over there in the west, which is the direction that I want the camera to be facing, is pretty friggin' harsh right now, and it's about noon. Um, you can see, uh, man, there you go. You can see on my face, it's just eh, pounding. It's, eh, it's This is the first nice day we've had in a long time, and I'm just rain sick. Uh, yeah, but let's turn this around. Macy, come here. So, I mean, this is not going to be the exact shot, but you can see that if I put myself in the right spot. Okay, there we go. I think that's the shot. It kind of shows Swan Island. It shows that there's a piece of river in between those two pieces of land. It's a river sandwich. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I've had enough of filming myself with a terrible backlight all day long. So now Macy and I are going to head home, but thanks for joining me on this weirdo little uh, sun this weirdo little scouting mission um yeah so look forward to the video about the uh, now defunct swan island airport that should be coming out sometime in the next few years thanks for watching